Today I'm interviewing a silver player who owns every single skin in the game, but not just every skin. We're talking about every VCT skin. We're talking about every buddy, every banner, every cosmetic you think exists in this game, this guy owns. And he spent over $10,000. He's not a content creator, not a streamer or pro player, just your average silver having fun collecting skins. And today I sat down and interviewed him on stream live and well, it was a very interesting conversation. Today we're going to have a little bit of a chat with a current silver player, though he's usually gold, current silver player who spent $10,768.26 on Valorant. This is US dollars, correct? Yes, USD. These are US dollars. Okay. Um, in the background, I'll be playing his footage. This is a recording, not a countering. This is a recording of him going through uh, his shop. You can see it all just says, thank you for supporting Valorant. Everything has been maxed out. This account is completely stacked. Let's start uh, <laughs> with the most obvious and most relevant and newest question here. You bought every single VCT pistol, correct? Yes, sir. <laughs> My goodness. When when Riot dropped the VCT and you saw all those pistols, were you a little bit daunted? I was more just disappointed that they... Well, we can get into the skins themselves. I just feel like they're all variants, really. And I understand it's supporting the you know, competitive teams, and I'm all for that. But I feel like they could have put a little more work into them. <laughs> You were kind of you were disappointed, right? You were dis <laughs> you were disappointed in all the skins, but you're like, but I gotta collect everything, and you just scooped them up. Oh yeah, that I didn't really care too much about that. I was gonna collect them no matter what. And okay, that actually leads me immediately to an interesting question. So it means even if you really dislike a skin, you'll just be like, ew, bye. Yes. <laughs> in fact, <laughs> I will complain about collections that come out that I don't like. Um, while purchasing them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, that leads me to a third question. What Have you bought skins that you've just never used before? 100%. <laughs> I used to, when I, when I buy them before, I used to, like, at least equip them for a bit. But now I like to go with my theme collections, so I won't really use ones that either don't fit a theme or I just don't like. If I like a skin enough, I'll try to make a theme collection around it. But then that comes with getting all the radiant eye for it. Wow. So so there's high odds that a lot of these classics that we're going through right now, you just you'll you'll just never you'll just never use them. Yeah, a lot of the VCT ones I'm probably not gonna use. Um it probably just because of the color scheme. Like I don't really like yellow as a color, personally, it's my opinion. <laughs> I don't like yellow, so I probably won't use any of these yellow colors. A little bit of context to the viewers out there. I'm gonna have to put it up on screen. I've interviewed Tavi before. He was uh, he spent 8,000 back in the day, or almost 8,000. And um, I think what makes this extremely interesting uh, right up front is that he isn't a content creator. He is a average Valorant player. Uh, he does not make money off of Valorant. He has a separate job. He does his things. He puts money on the side and he goes ahead and he buys these skins. He's more of a collector than a content creator, which is unique because there's a lot of there's a lot of content creators who do just buy all these skins, but they make bundles. They um, they do a ton of stuff to make money back. It's like a tax write off for them. That's just the truth for you. It's just not the case. So my, my honest question here is because of that, because you just play Valorant casually, was there not like, was there multiple points between, especially the last interview and this interview, which is quite some time later, where you're like, should I continue doing this? You know, I do get that every now and then because I like the game. I do. Uh, I'm very on and off with it though. <laughs> uh, and it very much depends on how I'm doing in the game. Like if I'm just having a lot of uh, really bad games, I'm like, man, I'm really bad at this game. I need to just stop. And I go, but I can't. <laughs> um, <laughs> And, you know, I think about it sometimes just, oh, maybe I shouldn't, you know, just stop, right? Maybe I should just stop here. But mm -hmm. I always come back around to it because it's a horrible addiction, playing the game at least. Um, and playing the game makes you want to continue collecting them. So I just keep doing it. So it is fully just a, like, uh, a collection goal. It did start uh, as a collection kind of thing where I do like collecting all the skins. Um, and I still do enjoy collecting all the skins. It's something I very much enjoy about the game um, outside of, you know, winning games. <laughs> but yeah, that's probably 
like one of my main reasons I play is so I can collect them. Coming from chat, is there any skins you do not have? No, I have every single skin available, past even, and present. Even battle pass? Even battle pass skins. I've done all the battle passes. In fact, the only tier of battle pass that I have not collected was the very first um, epilogue card. That's the only part I don't have from a battle pass. Oh, wow. That puts you ahead of most people then, because there's a lot of content creators that don't have early early skins. Another one from another chatter. Uh, are they all upgraded? No, they're not. Okay, they're not all upgraded. Do you want to upgrade every single one, or would you more so just leave them and you'll upgrade them if you want to use them in a collection? Um, I usually leave, leave them for phone use them in a collection. Uh, you see, actually, I have 65 Radiant Knight at the top there. That currently gone because throughout this like recording i was realizing i didn't have certain things to go with a collection i was trying to change them to and mm -hmm. just did it uh are there any missing buddies yes there are a couple of missing buddies some of them are like watch alongs there is a couple events that they have where it's like oh watch on this day and get a certain thing um like i don't have like the first vct spark buddy which i'm kind of upset about because that's one of the rarer ones i don't have one of the arcane buddies because that one you had to watch arcane on like riot's channel as it was being premiered since the last time actually there has been some price inflation uh especially in their base price radiant Knight's still just as expensive as before but the base prices have went up and as someone who is literally buying every single skin does that still sting is this not something you think about do you still get annoyed about like the prices in valorant i do think about that and it does annoy me i mean it's not going to stop me from doing it unfortunately because i'm kind of locked into this <laughs> uh but i do think it's it's kind of frustrating that you know, they're charging upwards of like $80 for collections. And then if you want the Radiant Knight to get them and you don't have it, then it's like another like $160 to get all the Radiant Knight to upgrade all four skins in the collection, right? So mm -hmm. it's it's a little frustrating the, the prices that they come at to start and not having anything upgraded to begin with, right? Do you actually grind the battle pass or do you just buy it all out at the start? Uh, you know what? Actually, I should have shown this battle pass. Um, I do buy it there are some times where i'll like if i have weeklies that i think i'll be able to finish i'll do like oh, i'll do the weeklies and then buy it but usually i just buy the battle pass straight up you've spent a little over ten thousand dollars if it did not break tos you would not get in trouble and someone came came through and said i'll pay twelve thousand dollars so they'd erase everything you've done plus give you a little bit of profit would you sell your account uh you know i think maybe for 13 and the only reason why is because i feel like i can do better than 12. <laughs> um but <laughs> In my eyes, it wouldn't really be erasing because this is something I've spent over the course of like, how long has Valorant been out? Four years now. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like getting that much money at once, it's, you know, pretty nice. And I don't really use all the skins. It's nice to have the title of having all the skins in the game, past, present, and, you know, most likely future as well. I can buy the skins I want. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yep. Yep. That makes sense. That I wouldn't be sense. locked into it. <laughs> I'd yeah, still play the game, but... That makes sense. So you would take it, you'd buy the skins you want and keep playing, but now that you're super deep into it, you just want to continue. That's kind of the gist of it. Yeah. And someone did ask uh, in chat if I regret mm -hmm. do, uh, starting collections. No, I definitely don't. I try not to regret anything I do because, you know, it's it's not good to live like that. You don't want to live with regrets, so you just keep going. You can't do anything even if you regret it, so you might as well enjoy it and have fun doing it, 100%. Um, and yeah, feel free to take any questions out of chat because I can easily miss them. Anything that catches your eye, just go for it. Um, this is actually something I did want to ask even before chat mentioned it, which is uh, just a couple spitballs as someone who owns every single skin and anything that's good you've probably used. Uh, what's your favorite collection in the game? I am very biased because my favorite color is pink. Um, mm -hmm. Sentinels of Light is my favorite collection, especially with that new 2.0. Um, I really like that. I can have all those pink variants just make my collection look nice and pink. Before, uh, I had like a pink and purple collection because there just is not enough or there was not enough pink skins to do it. Um, do you ever set the entire collection to random and then just see what cycles in? I used to do that. Um, like when the random thing came out, mm -hmm. I set all my favorite skins to the favorites and then mm -hmm. I you know, put them all in random. Uh, but lately, I've been thinking about doing 
all my favorite skins like on a specific color and then setting everything to random. That way it's all like one themed collection or one themed color, but it's different skins for that. Because I've noticed that there are a lot of skins for the same weapon that have the same color. And I, you know, change them out for my different collections, but it'd be nice to be able to have different ones without having to go in and change them. What do you like? This is actually a little bit of a teaser for a video I'm going to be publishing. Actually, no, people who are watching would have already watched it. People who are on Twitch would have not seen it yet because it's still still being scheduled. Would you like, There's there was once upon a time where there was a small hint that I got from Riot themselves, a little inside scoop that um, they would like to add stuff like customization where per agent or per half you could make collections. So like red, like let's say your attacker, it could be a red skin collection, defender, blue skin collection, or even per agent. Let's say I chose Yoru, it could be all blue. Do you like the idea of that? And do you think Valorant should add more like skin based features? Oh okay. my gosh, that would be so awesome. It's so annoying changing through skins sometimes because you, you can see me preloading all of them. It's, uh, it's quite- I could tell. <laughs> it, it gets, uh, it takes a long time to switch between skins. Uh, so it's nice to have the freedom to, like, you know, if you have set saved collections, you can just put down a drop down menu and click on whichever collection you want, you know? That's what I thought at uh, bare minimum there should be, just a saved right? collection. At bare minimum, there should be like a saved a saved collection. Is there skin features other than like a saved collection that you'd like that I didn't mention? <laughs> Nothing that would be useful to the regular player. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, like what? I think it'd be cool to be able to sort things by color, but like, obviously, that's valid. That's no, that's that's valid. That's valid. Like just a little chat oh. box. <laughs> yeah, I think it'd be nice to sort them, or like not even like a chat box, but like a filter option to have everything grouped by color instead of by name. Mm -hmm. Um, so all the ones that are like closest to that color, uh, or when you view the collection, or like you know when you're viewing the, the, different skins in here like we're going through the buckies you could see how you could see the preview of the skin if you could have them set to a color like a variant yep that way um like if you if you go to your favorites and you have only a variant of a skin favorited it'd be nice to only see that one instead of seeing the original skin and then for your next question um like how many hours do you think i put in a week uh you know i'll, I'll do a max of three games per day depending on how i'm doing uh, okay. If I do absolutely dog in the first game, then I'll probably be like, all right, I'm done for the day. It's not a Valorant day, you know? <laughs> or if I'm doing really good, I'll play a lot more. Um, if it's a weekend, uh, usually I'll play more than three. But again, it depends. And I'll take breaks in between. It's just, it's a very big mental game. And I don't want to be stressed over things like losing. <laughs> and then as for how many hours I think I put in total, I have actually checked Valor Tracker um, to see like how many in-game hours I have, uh, but the only thing about Valor Tracker is it only actually you know catches the hours you're playing a game, uh, and I feel like a lot of my time is spent in menus doing collection <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I was about um, to say I feel like you spend a lot of time just making collections. I think that's like something you enjoy. No, that's why you buy them all. I do. Yeah, I like I like going through and seeing what can work. Um, for like a certain theme, like, oh, I want to see what blue and white can do. And, and I'll like go through all my skins and equip the blue and white ones. But it was almost 2000 hours with just in game time. Oh, when wow. I last checked my Valo tracker. So oh, I don't wow. know how, like, honestly, I, I don't want to say double it for a for menu time, but <laughs> like close to that. Even if you just take like one court, like, one third of it, that'd still be over 3,000 hours total, even if you just take one third of that. Wow. Yeah. That is over the course of like four years because I've been playing since beta. What's like the, what's your least favorite skin in the sense of it was maybe your biggest disappointment? Like you thought it was going to be hype and then you're like, shit. Ah, uh, you know, if I think a skin is going to be hype, I probably just like it in general. Okay. <laughs> I don't really get a skin thinking it's going to be good and then go, oh, this is kind of bad. I will say like there are some that I feel like are overrated. Like, I feel like Prime is too too many people like it. I see it in too many matches. So it's like I never really equip Prime ever. I mean, actually, I shouldn't say that because I have a cook right now for a collection. <laughs> but <laughs> I, don't, I don't usually equip uh, Prime. And uh, same with Reaver. I feel like Reaver is also very overrated. And it's just because they're, they're OG, right? Everyone likes them. Uh, and you can't say anything bad about them. But I feel like I see them everywhere. So it's... It's kind of like boring to me at this point um if there's any type of skin type that i don't like 
I don't really like the super realistic ones. I'm more of a fantasy kind of person, so I like all the skins that are super effects and like have or like very unrealistic. Things like infantry, uh, the uh, uh, spec, spec ops, uh, one that looks like actual guns. Mm -hmm. I don't really like those ones. Okay. Not, not my, not my thing. So the next question. So this one. Okay. So this one is complete. Like any question, skip. Um, we we'll just move on. It, it'll be even edited out of the video itself, but it always comes up. It always comes up. So we'll break them out down into two factors. One is the easier one. And one is the one that's much more complex. So you can skip number one. Are you like, uh, by any definition or terms, quote unquote, rich. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say I'm rich. I would just say I have uh, a lot more spending money than, you know, most others. Uh, I live in California. So my wage matches that of a California person. But I don't think that makes me rich, but I mm -hmm. think compared to prices, um, since they're pricing things for like all of the US or all the world really, um, I feel like I have more leniency to just every check, just throw a hundred in, you know, maybe more, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, more disposable income. Yeah. And uh, you, this is something you did last time. So I'm going to go ahead and assume same thing is kind of what you're doing. It's about a hundred dollars per paycheck that you just kind of store for Valorant. Uh, yeah, for these, for these, uh, Valorant classic skins though, for the BCT <laughs> ones, uh, I actually used my tax return money and I feel like that was very target, uh, targeted. I feel like they released these around tax season <laughs> for that reason. And that's, that's my, that's my own theory there. I feel like that's... <laughs> Because I was like, oh, this, this new stuff just dropped. What do I do? Well, <laughs> that's crazy. I am getting a lot of money right now. <laughs> that's crazy. Speaking of the VCT skins, just because I saw you equip it, uh, it is crazy. You have to buy every single one and then still use Radiant to upgrade one. Because one, yeah. one helps the team, but the rest is just fucking riot. Because when you buy yeah. Radiant, they don't know. You, they're not getting extra per upgrade. It's just once the classic is purchased. They're so sneaky. They're so sneaky, man. I fucking hate the Radiant Knight. It's like their biggest, it's their biggest like a uh, rug pull for all, against all players. And clearly, like someone said in the previous video, if someone who owns every skin complains about Radiant Knight, you know something's fucked up. I've actually sent them formal like support tickets going, hey, why? <laughs> <laughs> oh I just, my God. I just bought the Sheena uh, or Kuranami skin line and I can't even upgrade it because I don't have the Radiant Knight. What the heck, guys? <laughs> That's crazy. Um, second one, everyone always asks. It's the one you definitely can skip because it's completely personal. Uh, what do you do for a living? So I actually, I, I mean, I can say what I do. I can't say who I work for, though, because that's I'm actually not allowed to disclose that. But I work for health insurance. Um, and I work, I do a couple of things in the company, but I can't say, can't say what. Are you ever afraid? I mean, it shouldn't. It never should. But are you ever afraid, like, your account accidentally getting banned? Like, even if you don't really do anything bad, like, I don't know, hacked, banned, like, something goes south. Do you get a little bit nervous about that? Uh, you know, I used to, but I feel like I have enough connections to, like, explain if there's any reason. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, um, I know a couple devs um, who know me and know that I'm... You know, a stand-up guy who wouldn't do that kind of stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. I have some other connections, and also I'm consistently sending tickets to the riot support uh, <laughs> about things. Um, so I feel like they they should know my account by now. I mean, I'm not gonna say they definitely do, but I feel like they should at least recognize me because I've gotten this a couple of the same support agents more than a few times. <laughs> um, well, is there any one thing riot can do in which you'll just stop? Like you, you just, you'll stop buying skins. Um, yeah, actually, uh, I think if they closed the game, it'd be really hard to buy skins. Like if they just closed the game <laughs> and <laughs> turn, <laughs> shut them down. So you, the only reason you stop buying skins is if the game went under. Yeah. I feel like, uh, <laughs> that's, that's the, something they could do. I don't know if there's anything they could do that would make me stop supporting the game. Um, I mean, unless they suddenly came out as being like, a horrible company that is supportive of, I don't know, Germany. <laughs>
What? All right, it's okay. All the EU people are asleep. No worries. Cut, cut that out. Cut that out. Okay, I need to add some context. The, the dude wanted to say like terrorist or something really bad. He, he was thinking of really bad stuff, but then he got scared of saying something wrong on stream. So he panicked and said Germany. It made for some funny content, but just so you know, the dude has nothing against Germans. He just meant like if Riot ever supported some really bad criminal organization or of course stuff that are really against any sort of human rights that's when he would stop buying skins that's that's what he was trying to say all the eu people are asleep it's fine it's too late <laughs> all the eu people are asleep it's fine it's all good it's all good if they supported eu i would also shut it down it's fine i'd probably close the channel it's all good <laughs> if valorant didn't exist would you wail on any other game would you go full collection mode on something else maybe something that came after valorant or something else you would have you still play right now uh, well, there. I think I mentioned this in the last video. Um, I have done this for a couple other games. Um, well, not to this extent, but well. So the first game I did it in was a game called Brawlhalla, where I got mm -hmm. all the skins and accessories and all that in that game. But then I just stopped playing because that game genuinely was not fun for any, for me anymore. Um, I play it every now and then now, but it. I don't know. Just wasn't wasn't doing it for me anymore they, they did like an update or something that i just didn't like uh Damn. so i stopped and i was also playing valorant at the time so i just put all my focus into that instead but uh, brawlhalla was a rather cheaper game like to put into perspective i think i put like 2k into that game and i had all the skins at the time and uh, when I finally got all the skins in this game, I had like 4.7k when I had finally gotten all the skins. Yeah, but that's crazy because you stopped just because you stopped liking the game. Like, like, what if you just stopped liking Valorant? I don't see that happening. Okay. <laughs> Considering I've been playing it for this long and still haven't, like, you know, given up on it. I guess then on the on the topic of ours, so is your is your peak rank gold? My peak rank is actually platinum. Um, mm. I was platinum for a season, and then they ranks reset uh and i was put back in silver and i could never get back up to plat <laughs> is there have you just been in games let's say with teammates in random swift plays ranked whatever and you've just said yeah i own every skin like have you had fun reactions uh yeah a lot of it comes when they see my right but gun buddy and the first thing they go is are you a dev and i'm like no <laughs> And they're like, well, how do you have a right gun buddy? I'm like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't like the reason. But if I'm, if I'm doing pretty good, you know, I'll be like, yeah, you know, I, I, I got it. And they're like, how can I get a uh, right gun buddy too? I'm like, well, <laughs> first. <laughs> $10,000. <laughs> so you probably have the most expensive right gun buddy, no cap. Wait, did they give you a right gun buddy because you have all the skins or did you just meet a riot dev? What is your riot gun buddy story? Yeah, so when I first collected all the skins, um, back when it, it was only 4.7k that I had spent. Um, but oh, right. I made a Reddit post. <laughs> only. <laughs> I say only because that's under half of what I have now. <laughs> but um, I made a Reddit post on the f official Valorant uh, uh, Reddit. And I was saying, this is what it's like to waste $4.7,000 of Valorant. And <laughs> it kind of blew up a bit. It's I think my biggest Reddit post I've ever done, mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, uh, someone asked me if I had a Riot Gun Buddy, and I didn't even know what that was. I was like, I don't know what that is, but if a devil wants to give it to me, sure. <laughs> and oh. then a dev reached out to me. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I was like, hey, you, I hear you don't have a Riot Gun Buddy, but you have all the skins. Do you want to change that? I'm like, sure. I don't, I don't know what that is, <laughs> but. Wait, that's actually Giga Chad. So it was a direct, you, like, you indirectly bought a good riot gun buddy indirectly not directly indirectly, indirectly. yeah yeah indirectly <laughs> it's not his parents credit card bro works bro works and saves actually in 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 <laughs> retrospect something that was really amazing on the previous youtube video is a lot of respect for like the dude dude just works he likes this game he puts money on the side and enjoys collecting it there's a lot of just respect on how you did it but at the same time most of them were like lol wait till he sees counter strike <laughs> Half the comments, <laughs> half the comments were like, this is one knife in Counter-Strike. Yeah, nah, I'm good. I don't really want to go to that. In fact, <laughs> this is going to probably get me a lot of haters. Uh, but I don't actually like Counter-Strike. I, I don't like the way it plays. I don't like, it's, 
it's too realistic. I mentioned before, I don't like the, the realistic aspect of it. I like the fantasy and Valorant has that type of, you know, it's just fantasy enough for me to like it, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and then on the topic of, you know, I do like it for fun. I get a lot of people who respect it, but I also get a lot of people who are like <laughs> gold and or silver and has all the skins. What a waste. And it's like, mm -hmm, I don't really, I don't really care, you know? <laughs> it's, Plus they're not correlated. Like they're like literally yeah. not correlated. What's it's funny is I all. know people correlate them, which is why I market it that way. I'm not dumb. I can think about how the masses see stuff, but at the same time, it's so not correlated. Even if you just think about it for two seconds, like how does one equal the other? It's just like, like everyone's playing in a lobby with skins. You know what I mean? There's, I don't know how they correlated actually, to be honest, I don't get the correlation at all. I like to imagine that it's just them jealous that I have all the skins and they go, well, I'm a higher rank than them. So I'm going to say this <laughs> to some extent, there's hundred percent. Some people like that there yeah. to some extent that's, there there's definitely, yeah. I mean, without a doubt, that's just how humans work. So yeah, I think that's how sure. I do it in my head. So I go, so I can like not really be too upset about it and just be like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I feel like once you're like radiant, you're not spending too much time making collections. Unless I know there's Jonas, he's doing it for videos. Okay, if Jonas wasn't a streamer, I don't think he would sit like this dude. There's a difference. Like this dude's actually passionate, right? And I just feel like one is for content, one is for passion. And I think you literally just enjoy it. If you just sit through menus, be like, "Yeah, I like doing this collection and this collection." <laughs> there's something wholesome about that. Like you just like doing it. It's obvious. You know what I mean? It just, it just, it shows itself. Is what I'm trying to say. I want to plug anything, but I don't think there's anything you want to plug but if you do if there's anything you would like to plug um feel free to i can i can drop it i mean i, I i'll only plug this so that if any riot devs want to reach out to me they can't <laughs> w but uh hobby underscore scratch for my twitter did you not believe did you did you not believe arcade was too expensive is that one of the ones where the price was like you're like oh fucking hell riot I definitely think it was very expensive. The only reason why I can even kind of justify it is because each variant is different. Yeah, that's so each variant is like say, its yeah. own skin with its own like effects and card that came with it, and also finisher. Like everything about it was different for each variant. Mm -hmm. So I'd say you're technically getting three skins for the price of one. I mean, or I guess one and a half, really. <laughs> so it was expensive as a bundle, but I think this one specifically is okay all the other ones i don't think deserve to be <laughs> expensive though his uh twitter will be in the description right deb if you want to reach out to the man he has some he has some uh, some things to say about radiant Knight. let him let him say it <laughs> if there's anything you'd like to add that i didn't feel free to um... yeah actually this one thing i wanted to correct about the last video for anyone who watched it i did say i genuinely don't like the game anymore um now i i want to correct that because I mentioned previous uh, earlier in this video that I'm very on and off about the game. And when I did that interview, I was very off about the game. <laughs> um, so I want to correct that and say, I don't genuinely dislike the game. It's just depending how I'm feeling, how I'm doing. So I do like the game, um, but sometimes I'll just say, I don't like it because I I'm doing bad. We're fed up with it, but then you came back with a vengeance, bought every skin. <laughs> <laughs> GG easy. All right, perfect. Appreciate your time. Thank you again for this uh, interview. Yeah, thanks for taking the time out. to interview me. It was a lot of fun.